Okay, so you have been sent on a quest to catch Pokemon and evidence of other life forms in our local ecosystem. That is the plan for the entire week. And how are you going to do that? Well, let's go on ahead and get in to the nitty gritty of exactly what you're doing. So if you go to Google Classroom and you click on the uh, week assignments, if you go to class work at the top of your screen and you go into quarantine week three, there are two documents that you will see. The first document is the week ahead. And the week ahead, as we click on it, will let you know exactly what part of the quest you need to complete each day. As you look today, you need to go on ahead and look into the introduction and then move ahead and read everything in meeting Professor Oakenshield. Now, Pro Professor Oakenshield is a bit of a grizzly and kind of a grumpy fella, so tread lightly. Now, as we move ahead in the week, you'll notice that there is a step called to be a master. And in this step, you will be using the Pokemon app, Pokemon Go. If you do not have the Pokemon Go app, it is free and available for you to download on Google or on the App Store for iOS. Now, if you cannot in any way use the Google, or sorry, the Pokemon Go app, it's totally understandable. There have been a lot of generations of Pokemon that you can choose from so long as you have a game at home, or your little brother has a game at home, or maybe your dad still has his old Game Boy he's willing to dust off and let you borrow. The point is, on Tuesday, your goal is to catch six Pokemon in the wild. On Wednesday, you'll take the six Pokemon that you caught and you will do some research. Moving into Thursday, you will once again go outside, but this time not to catch Pokemon, but to catch signs of other life forms in your own ecosystem. And on Friday, just like you did with the Pokemon, you will do some basic research to try and determine how those animals or creatures that you find fit into the local ecosystem. So what does this quest look like? Well, Another document that you will find very useful in your quest is Pokemon in the Wild. And Pokemon in the Wild, this is a Google Slides document. And this document is where you will be putting all of your research and images of the Pokemon and animals that you encounter in your quest. As we go in, to the Pokemon in the wild, you will notice that I have an adventure list, things you should have on hand before leaving the house. I have instructions for what you should be doing at each step for part one to be in master. The instructions are here. If you have an issue taking a screenshot, I do have some helpful, useful tips at the end of this presentation, or you can simply click that link and it will take you to the slide that will provide you some useful information. I have an example here of what we are looking for in your research. So as you are conducting your Pokemon research, I'm looking for you to take a screenshot as you are catching your Pokemon and then using a resource called Bulbapedia to fill in the rest of the pertinent information. Now, you will have to use your training on ecosystem roles about producers and primary consumers and top predators to figure out where your Pokemon fit and their own ecosystems. When you complete this, you will go on the local safari and look for different organisms in your ecosystem. And you will fill out information very similar to what you do for the Pokemon. The only difference is instead of going to Bulbapedia, you will need to use the resource links at the bottom of the presentation to help guide your identification and your analysis of how they fit into the ecosystem. The final day on Friday, you will notice I have a graphic here or a organizer 
here for you to arrange different photos of the organisms and Pokemon you found and their appropriate trophic level or ecosystem role. So for instance, if you catch yourself a Bulbasaur, I'm pretty sure Bulbasaur is somewhere over here in the producer primary consumer area. Is he just a plant or is he also a consumer? Perhaps he belongs in both categories. So this is what you'll be doing for the final day of your quest. Now, as you go through your quest and you complete all of this, how are you going to turn it in? Well, just like you've always turned in your work, you're going to go up here to Pokemon in the wild and simply hit the turn in button when you're done. Now, things to mention when it comes to getting into Classcraft. Classcraft, as you have all been in before, in order to get to your quest and read about what you're supposed to be reading about each day and for all of your objectives and mission information, you need to go through each step um, and read through the story as well as story, as well as the task that you'll be doing. And I will have links embedded in here to help you get to the things that you need. All of these steps have been put as self-paced, so you are able to move on when you're ready. Be sure that you're ready to move on to the next step, however, and don't just skip through this, or you're going to become very confused and you won't be able to complete your quest. So, with that, the other thing to mention. Each one of these steps is worth gold points as well as experience points. So if you're still interested in upgrading your character, getting a new set of armor, buying yourself a new quest companion, make sure you're completing these steps and not simply just doing the work on Google Classroom and you will earn the reward for each step. So with that, that is the breakdown for the entire week of what we will be doing. I will be back on for science class on Thursday at two o'clock and I will be available every morning for science AMA. So with that, I will catch everyone later.